Welcome to Windows 7. This is the standard Windows 7 desktop you will see on a clean installation of the operating system. Let's go over the basic elements so you can start using your computer right away. So, firstly and most importantly, at the bottom left here we have the start globe. This was the start button in Windows XP. This is the main starting point, if you like, for most activities on your computer. Clicking it once opens up the start menu. Clicking it again closes it. Now, the area at the bottom here is called the taskbar. To the left of the start menu are some icons. If you're familiar with earlier versions of Windows, you'll know that the taskbar is where you can see programs that are already running. You might be worried as to why there appear to be programs already running down here. Well, these programs are not actually running at all. Unlike earlier versions of Windows, programs can be pinned to the taskbar and they will stay there for easy access even when they are not running. By default, we get Internet Explorer, Windows Explorer, and Windows Media Player. Now, this might change depending on whereabouts you live in the world. For example, in Europe it is possible that Windows 7 will have the option to change the default web browser from Internet Explorer to something else. Anyway, for now, it is important to understand that the icons here do not necessarily represent programs that are running. If I click on the Internet Explorer icon here, the program will start to run. As you can see, the icon now has a border around it like this. Just cancel that for now. Also, if I hover my mouse over the icon, I get a little preview window of the application that is running. I'll just close IE for now. So, coming along to the remaining elements, and we'll cover these in more detail later, firstly, the system tray has moved to here. Click this arrow to show it. This shows all your system tray icons. Next, we have the action center, this little flag icon here. This notifies you about potential problems on your PC. Next to that we have the network icon. This can be used for connecting quickly to networks, both wired and wireless. Then there's the volume icon. A quick click of this brings up this control that lets you easily adjust the volume. Click again to hide it. Then there's a handy clock and date display, just like in previous versions of Windows. Finally, new to Windows 7 is this Show Desktop button, hidden inconspicuously at the bottom right here. To show you this, I'll need to open up a window again, so I'll just open Windows Explorer here. Now, clicking on the Show Desktop button hides the windows temporarily so you can see the desktop. Click it again to bring your windows back. I'm just going to close Windows Explorer now by clicking the X here. By default on Windows 7 we only get one icon on the desktop and that's the recycle bin. This is where files and folders you delete will initially end up. We'll cover that in more detail in another video.